Yo, what's good, everybody? Gang is everybody back with another video. In today's video, I'm gonna show you guys some of the best clothing purchases that I've made in 2020. So getting into this video, I really want to show you guys some of the pieces that I wear the most often. I know on this channel, I kind of show a lot of clothes, so you can't really tell what I wear like on a day-to-day -day basis or really, really consistently. So I want to make sure I made a video like that for you guys today. A lot of this stuff is purchases that I've had or either made this year or in past years that I just feel like are just phenomenal purchases. So we're gonna go ahead and get into it. But before we do, what I need you guys to do is go ahead and smash the like button. We've been growing like crazy. So I'm not gonna really press you guys like I usually do, but y'all already know what to do, man. Go ahead and smash that like button, road to 100K. I also need you guys to go ahead and follow the Instagram. A lot of these pieces are pieces that really really get shown a lot on the instagram so if you kind of look you'll see the pieces that i wear most often but go ahead follow the gram and lastly i can't continue the video without shouting out the sponsor which is shout tiger man shout tiger y'all already know is one of those apps and one of those extensions that i use quite often they really really do get you guys a lot of deals and it kind of just sits up there in the top right corner and just tells you whenever a sale is going on or if there's a coupon code or something like that so i really use it a lot you can save a lot of money on some of these pieces that i'm about to show right now but i'm gonna go ahead and go further in depth into it right here so part of the reason why i did want to show you guys this extension is because black friday cyber monday shopping is coming up and you're not going to want to miss any of the deals so what you're going to want to do is come to the chrome web store and click this blue button right here that says add to chrome so once you downloaded that it's going to bring you to this demo page that pretty much shows you a bunch of default websites that you can start with right off the bat but for the sake of the video i'm going to go to one of my favorite stores right here and we're gonna scroll down and see something we like you know i'm kind of feeling these alexander mcqueen boots right here so we're gonna go ahead and click that once you do that you can go ahead and add your size or whatever you'd like and then you'll come up to the top right and you'll click the shop tagger extension now it already has your item selected so all you will do from right here is choose your size which is boom 44 and then you can notify when there's a price difference so you can do any price change you can do 25 percent off or you can do 50 percent off for this sake we're going to go ahead and do any price change then we're going to go ahead and create a list now i already created one for fall winter 20 so we're going to go ahead and choose that but you can use any type of list name you would like once you do that you go down and you click save and so once you do that you will come up to your shop tiger dashboard and you'll be able to see everything that you've chosen and selected to be notified with so we have our alexander mcqueen boots right here so we'll be notified whenever there's a price difference you'll literally be notified via email or mobile push notification whenever your saved item goes on sale or comes back in stock shop Tiger also scans the web for coupon codes and applies them at the checkout so you don't even have to think about it yourself lastly there is a new cashback feature so you can earn cash via paypal when you shop from select retail partners so getting back into the video i'm going to start off in no particular order but i want to show you guys the first piece right here which is my black sweet coat motos now i think i purchased these like late 2018 or 2019 you know what i'm saying if you guys you guys watch me and you watch my channel y'all know i got like four or five pairs of sweet cokes not specifically black but sweet cokes in general are probably my favorite model of sandal and this is honestly like a perfect pickup especially for the summertime these are some sandals that really have a different look opposed to a lot of other different sandals and within other brands and other price ranges i feel like these are right there in the middle between like affordable and high end they're more towards like the high end i guess you would say because i believe the price is you're like looking at least maybe between like two to three hundred but in my defense these are probably the most worn thing in my closet like i kid you not these are like almost like the underwear to my closet right now you know what i'm saying so these in all black is probably the best purchases i've made in a very long time um but you got those sweet coke models by the way they have different models of this but these are the i said models the motos 
Y'all get what I'm trying to say. Now, moving on, we got some more footwear. Now, I'm not going to lie to you. Footwear is probably one of the things that I feel like is always an easy buy, even if it's a lot of money, because you know you're going to get a lot of wear out of it. They're going to last you a very long time. So with the next purchase right here, I got these hiking boots from Premieta. Now, these are some very, very well-crafted hiking boots. These are the Low Trek model. They might be out of stock. I'm not going to lie to you. You probably can still find them somewhere, but these are pretty much like the best hiking shoe that I've copped so far. I don't have Roas in particular, but these right here, I believe is like a Roa collab. They even have like Roa on the front of them on the outsole right here. So definitely a nice shoe, nice Vibram sole, nice upper, very, very lightweight upper. And then you have this like super sturdy mud guard right here. And honestly, I just think they have a lot of detail they have a lot of pop when you wear them with outfits so very solid purchase i believe these ran me about 400 but like very well worth it bro i kid you not very well worth it now next up we have a very recent purchase that i made but these right here i really don't even got to do too much talking about them these right here are the rick owens ramones these are from the performa line and these are in like i believe the colorway they have on these is dark dust but it's really like a brown colorway i honestly was gonna get the black i know a lot of people were like asking me like would i recommend getting ricks and would i recommend getting this color or the black color and honestly i got this color because they didn't have the black when i went to get them the black was like always sold out in my size so they had my size in these so i went ahead and grabbed them pretty quickly and honestly i must say like this colorway goes with a lot more than you think like this is almost just as good as black and it's dark enough to where if you wanted to almost wear it as a black shoe you really could so definitely a very very good purchase um leather and just the overall construction of these is very very high quality so even if you beat them they gonna look fire bruh so definitely a solid purchase but these do run you pretty high I, I, these are like 1.1k bro i'm not gonna lie to you but i believe if you get like the dark shadow models which is made out of um canvas upper instead of a leather you will be able to save a quite a bit of money i think those ones are like 700 or so so you can either buy them brand new or use to save some money but you got those now next up very very rare is a t-shirt honestly i don't have any other tops in this just because i feel like tops are really interchangeable tops can kind of go season to season so i did want to mention this t-shirt right here which is by red therapy and for whatever reason this has been my favorite graphic over the past like year or so bruh like i kid you not this is probably the most worn t-shirt in my collection and I just think it's clean, bro. Like this slight hint of yellow with the smiley face. Like smiley faces kind of go with almost everything. You know what I'm saying? But with this being a dominantly white t-shirt with just some black graphic on it, or black text rather, it's just really like nice, simple, clean. You can wear it under stuff. You can wear it just as a t-shirt, like super duper fire, bro. Now next up, we got some pants. And look, bro, I kid you not, I've probably worn these like two times this week like that's how much i end up wearing these and they actually got some wear and tear on them but these right here are the black waxed denim cargos from minimal now i believe the original like inspiration for these pants are by julius they're the julius i'm trying to think what they are the julius gas mask cargos from fall winter 2009 I believe but these are like the inspiration these honestly fit a lot different than the julius pair um you can see them being worn by people like travis scott but um definitely a cool pair they have these nice cargo pockets which kind of almost go around the leg rather than just on the side so i think that kind of adds a cool look to the pants and just being some wax denim cargos like Bro, wax denims are always fire, so definitely a very, very solid purchase. I believe you can still grab them on minimal, so if you want to get them, go ahead. Now, next up, we got some leather pants right here. Now, leather pants is a staple. Like, if you don't have a pair of leathers in your collection or in your arsenal, bro, I would highly recommend you go grab some leathers because they pair with so many different outfits. And I'm one of those people that like to wear all black. So when you're wearing all black, you gotta switch up the materials. You gotta throw some leathers in there. And these leathers right here are the M134 leathers from Minimal. And they're just a, a solid staple, bruh. Like until I find another pair of leather pants, 
that maybe are genuine leather or something like that, bro. I'm definitely going with these. They don't run you for nothing crazy. I know leather pants can kind of get pretty expensive, but these right here have been perfect so far. The only thing I did wish is that at the ankle, they weren't zips, you know what I'm saying? So I'll probably end up grabbing me another pair of leather pants, but this ain't really about this specific pair, it's more about just some leather pants in general. Moving on, we got this bag. Now y'all, oh wait, look, if you follow me on the gram, bro, you know I throw this bag as like the cherry on top of a lot of outfits. But this bag right here is the Raph Simmons Times East Pack book bag right here. And this bag is just, it just has so much flair to it. And I really love that about it. And it's all black and you can wear it with everything. So if you wanted something quick to throw in your outfit and just add a more high fashion look, definitely grab this i believe this is they got like a couple of different seasons of this so whatever season they're on right now this is like the first season you know what i'm saying so not sure if they have a lot of these floating around they it, this literally ran me about like a hundred some dollars i got it on a sale or something so moving on we got some more boots and these boots right here are the naked wolf caution leather boots these these leather boots right here bro y'all know i recently picked these up and i've been wearing them with so many outfits like, it don't even make sense how many outfits I've thrown with these joints, but I feel like a black leather boot, especially in that fall winter time, is just perfect, bro. And these are super chunky. Love the build, and I love the, um, not even the aesthetic. I just love the, the silhouette of these boots. Like, very bulky just perfect you can they're like just slim enough to where they fit under most pants you know what i'm saying so crazy boot right here i think these are like 300 dollars 300 or so dollars so you can definitely still grab these for sure so for the last clothing item before i go ahead and hop into some of the accessories that i wear a lot i want to go ahead and talk about these mr completely denims that i recently purchased thrift shopping well not really thrift shopping but got these at wasteland for a super super steal bruh but these are the miss completely paint splatter pants perfect wash perfect amount of paint splatter i know some people can kind of go overboard with the whole paint splatter effect type of thing but these are perfect man they fit very very nice i actually got them in a i think the waist size is like a 33 or so so they're just like slightly bigger in the waist but for some reason like they still fit perfect have a couple of nice details at the bottom of the pants with these little strings and whatnot but the strings just the small details and the way that they go with everything is just yo perfect so i'm gonna go ahead and move into the jewelry and y'all already know i'll be wearing these earrings bro all the time bro these earrings are so fire and when i purchased these like honestly i've been wanting them well, let's just say that I've been one the earrings, but I was kind of scared to purchase them because I know that it is fashion jewelry and that they do tarnish over time. But I've had these for maybe like two, three months now and they haven't tarnished or anything at all. I also don't wear them in water and stuff like that. But these are the Mayfair Bass Relief earrings from Vivian Westwood and yo, the little orbs, bruh fire bro like if you were honestly looking for a earring that's gonna stand out and that's big enough to stand out it's gonna be these right here bro like super fire earring these run for i think they were like 140 or something like that so definitely well worth the price i picked them up at the vivian westwood store here in los angeles on melrose um so you can either do that you can order it from their website I would kind of stay away from places like Amazon because when I first looked at these earrings, I seen some on Amazon and they were not authentic. <laughs> Let's just say that. So just know what you're buying, bro. I'm sure if you buy these Vivian Westwood earrings, they're going to last you a lot longer than if you were to get knocked off. So now moving on, we got some more jewelry. That's probably the most asked about jewelry piece ever that I've worn. And it's these pearl necklaces right here, bro. These pearl necklaces, I'm saying it right now, so y'all yeah, can hear it, are from JC Penny. I got these from JC Penny. They're not real pearls. They're more like beaded jewelry to look like pearls. But yo, honestly, when you just want to throw something and look like real, real elegant, go ahead, throw you some pearls on, bro. I believe Vivian Westwood also is very, very infamous for their pearl necklaces. That's fashion jewelry as well. I actually went to the store to get the Mayfair pearl necklace and it just was too short, bro. Like they don't make long pearl necklaces. And when you adjust it, they have like adjusters and stuff like that. And you can only stretch it to like an 18 inch, which 
I just they they didn't have the connectors at the time, so I didn't pull the trigger. But Vivian Westwood also has some pearl necklaces, but these are fire right here. JC Penny. If you want to look elegant, throw these on and you good. Lastly, for the jewelry, we got some pieces that I've been wearing almost every day for ever since I got them. You know what I'm saying? But I got this nice little pair right here, which is the 1017 Alix buckle chain. Yo, this isn't anything new to the fashion scene. So I'm sure you guys have all either seen it or seen somebody with it, but definitely a nice subtle piece of jewelry. It's not too flashy, but if you know, you know. So you got the buckle chain and then the pair of the buckle chain, you already know your boy had to go ahead and get the little buckle bracelet so this bracelet is crazy honestly it reminds me of those things yo it reminds me of those things that you used to have in science class and you used to bang them and they used to ring i don't know what they called it like some type of prong or something like that but literally like the same type of design inspo but th this is crazy bro like like i said again with the necklace this is like a nice subtle touch it don't got no diamonds or nothing on it so really really subtle so those are like the main things i did want to throw some runner-ups in there just because like i've been wearing these pieces a lot too but when it comes to all honesty i wear these like a lot more but i'm gonna go ahead and run you through some runner-ups that would have been on the list if i could just wear them just a little bit more and we're gonna start it off with the Alix chelsea boots now i'm not gonna lie you can wear these with with a lot of things like they're definitely well worth the money i believe they have a couple of different models this is like not the first edition of it i know they have the first first one which actually has like the removable sole and stuff like that but these are kind of like the second season second edition models i guess you could say but definitely a fire leather boot the only thing that i think makes them not wearable with absolutely everything is because they're like a lot more slim and they have a lot different of a silhouette to it so just in case you can't pair it with like a bag of your pair of pants if you like more of a slim person and you wear like a lot of skinnier jeans they're definitely gonna be up your alley so another runner-up is a boot honestly that i did wear a lot i like i've worn this boot so many times and honestly i don't even know why i put it as a runner-up Nah, this ain't no runner up, bro. Like, what the? But this is the Yeezy Season 6 Desert Rat colorway. And they have these, of course, in a bunch of different colorways. They have like some light brown ones. They have some brown ones. They have like some mint blue ones. I don't know all the colorways of them, but I went ahead and picked these up in like 2019, maybe 2018. But they've been like a staple ever since, bro. I've just recently not been wearing them as much but definitely a fire boot one thing i will say if you go on to purchase these you might want to go a size up these are like my exact size and they're just too snug bro like i wish i would have went up a size but you still got those so lastly for the runner-ups i'm actually wearing them right now but these are these house slippers that i've been wearing like probably every day since i got them but they are by happy accidents and they're called the virginia sleepers now if you know this logo right here is from the raf simmons collection virginia creepers and it's pretty much just a play off that um they're house slippers so they're called the sleepers instead of the creepers Y'all yeah, get where this is going, but I thought it was a cool little like spoof or whatever. They actually have some more stuff coming, so you should maybe check them out. I think they just had to remake their Instagram and all that, so I'll like put their ad up and all that good stuff. But that's pretty much it, man. Some pieces that I'm honestly still looking for is a solid pair of glasses. I do wear glasses. I don't really need glasses badly, but... I want to go ahead and grab me like a really, really solid black frame glasses. Once I do that, that will probably be a staple. Honestly, I've seen the Chrome Hearts glasses and I really, really do want them, bro. But just Chrome Hearts is so expensive, dude. Like, I do want to grab them. I might end up getting like a pair. I've seen some like Gucci pairs that look really nice. Um, And I, honestly, like I'm willing to kind of invest in a good pair of glasses even if they're a bit on the pricier side just because they are going to be prescription for the most part so i want to make sure i can wear them every day and yeah that's that on that so that's it for the video i hope you guys enjoyed it let me know down in the comments some of the purchases that you guys have made that you feel like are really good purchases in your opinion and are staples in your wardrobe other than that Man, that's it for the video. Appreciate y'all for watching. Y'all know I got some more fire content coming soon, so hit that subscribe if you haven't yet. I'll be back to y'all more videos, man. Yeah. Peace. New Chanel, you can smell it on me. Yeah. Retail, ain't no selling to me.